Do you want to know about the technical hierarchy or the chain of command in Hewlett Packard Enterprise? Don't worry. Here in this vlog, we will get the basic information about the HP Enterprise technical hierarchy. Please note that this video constitutes only of the technical positions. Okay, without further ado, let's begin with a short introduction to the company. Hewlett Packard Enterprise is shortly known as the HPE. It's an American multinational company that serves worldwide and is headquartered in Texas, US. It was ranked 106 in the 2021 Fortune 500 list. The employee strength is 59,400 as per 2020 statistics. So moving on to our primary focus that is technical hierarchy in HP Enterprise. The internal organizational hierarchy of HPE is complex and hard to understand. Like other IT companies, they use band system to classify the hierarchy level. Let's discuss the technical designations in an ascending order. The technical chain of command begins with band A10, A11 that includes new recruits and software engineer. If you are a new graduate with no prior experience, you will be positioned in these two bands. The first one covers your training period where you will learn and adapt to the organizational culture and workings. Then after six months or an year, you will be promoted to a software engineer and will be assigned tasks and projects. The average annual salary of the software engineer in HPE is estimated as 9 lakhs INR. Engineer after two or three years of experience in the previous band will be promoted to band A12 or senior software engineer. It is an intermediate level posting with responsibilities. A senior software engineer will be supervising and guiding the personals in the entry band. The average annual salary of senior software engineer is above 10 lakhs INR. So the next step in the ladder is band A13 that includes tech lead. The tech lead comes under the specialist level. A tech lead is also called a specialist engineer due to his designation level. There are two subdivisions on the specialist level, specialist engineer and senior specialist engineer. As the name states, he or she should have deep knowledge and high experience to get hired as a tech lead. The average annual payout is approximately 13 to 14 lakh INR. So the next level in the hierarchy is band A14 that includes project lead. The project lead guides the whole team of engineers who can be from various bands and have special skills to complete a particular project. A project lead falls under the expert level in HPE's chain of command. The average annual salary of a project lead or expert level engineer is around 16 to 17 lakhs INR. After getting experience, you will be promoted to band A15 or a project manager. Project manager is categorized under master level designations. He or she has many key roles in a particular project like planning, monitoring and controlling, etc. and will be held accountable for the entire project. It's important to mention here that the experience alone cannot form a project manager. Cooperative skill and material knowledge are also very important. The average annual salary of a project manager is 18 to 20 lakhs INR. The highest level in the technical hierarchy is band A16 that includes a program manager. The program manager also comes under the master level and the responsibilities and roles are the same as the project manager. The only difference is he or she manages the group project and whole program. He or she is the one who communicates directly with the client and commands the team or project managers as per their discussion with the clients. 
the average salary of the program manager is 20 to 25 lakhs INR. The classification like entry, intermediate, specialist, expert and master is applied to all the departments of the HP enterprise. And after the master's level comes HPE Fellow, which covers the designations like CEO, Director, etc. So this is all about the technical organizational structure in Hewlett Packard Enterprise. Please note that the non-technical bands are not covered here. If you are preparing for your next job interview or joining HP Enterprise in a short while, then best wishes. And please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.